the FCT had cases. As the days went by, infected persons were discovered in other states, and as of today, 24 states in the country are battling the virus, including the FCT. These states are Lagos, Kano, Osun, Ogun, Oyo, Katsina, Edo, Kwara, Kaduna, Akwaibom, Burno, Bauchi, Gombe, Delta, Ekiti, Ondo, Rivers, Jigawa, Enugu, Ninja, Abia, Enwe, Anambra, Shokoto, and the FCT. While other states who recently joined the chart have stayed within the safe zone, Kano's increasing number of COVID-19 cases has become a major concern for Nigerians, especially Kano residents. Kano recorded its first case of COVID-19 on 11th April 2020, and at the time, many projected the trouble that could happen, premised on the fact that a large part of the population could have been exposed to the virus. While several people expressed their concerns, Kano recorded the first COVID death four days after their first case, 15th of April to be precise, with the cases moving up to a total of 21. Surprisingly, as at the 21st of April, Kano has confirmed a total of 73 cases with indications that more cases could surface in the coming days. The major concern in Kano at the moment is not only the increasing number of COVID cases, but the increase in the number of deaths and funeral in different areas of the state, particularly in the last 48 hours. In a report that surfaced days back, residents are beginning to panic as more people are dying, although no tests was done to confirm their COVID status before burial. For instance, 70 deaths were recorded within two days, 40 people at Taraone and 35 people at Koki. According to one Mr. Sonny Yaro, who is the resident of Taraone Kano, 20 people were buried in one morning, with undertakers complaining of being burdened with too much work. Let's check out the report. While the facts are still sketchy, a lot of people have called for an investigation to be done by the Kano Ministry of Health. This resulted to a press release put out by the Kano Ministry of Health Public Relations Officer, who says that a proper step will be taken on any patient suspected to have COVID-19 to avoid contaminating other people. Meanwhile, on Twitter, we laid a hand on the tweet by a journalist Mubarak Omar and retweeted by the Kano State Ministry of Health Ando on Twitter. He wrote, Kano death not related to COVID-19, says CMD. It further says that the Chief Medical Director of Abdullahi Wase Hospital in Kano, Dr. Mustafa Akima, has said that there is no cause for alarm over the unusual number of deaths recorded in the state in the past few days. This follows several efforts by the Kano State Government and the Kano State Ministry of Health to debunk the story about the increasing number of deaths related to COVID-19. The coming days will definitely open us up to a lot of things in Kano, but we sure hope that the inability to contain the spread of the virus in the state will not lead to a catastrophic situation. On a general note, Nigeria has recorded its highest number of COVID-19 cases in one day on the 21st of April 2020. The NCDC at about 11.25 p.m. reported 117 cases in Nigeria, with Lagos maintaining the lead with 59 cases. At the moment, Lagos has 430 cases, FCT 118, Kano 73, Oshun 20, Ogun 20, Oyo 16, Kasina 16, Edo 15, Kwara 9, Kaduna 9, Akwaibom 9, Burano 9, Bauchi 8, Gombe 5, Delta 4, Ekiti 4, Ondo 3, Rivers 3, Jigawa 2, Enugun 2, Ninja 2, Abia 2, Benway 1, Anambra 1, and Sokoto 1. While we continue to hope that we can break the chain of transmission,